Okay. Well, it's Sunday afternoon. Mother's Day afternoon. Possibly going to be live momentarily as the circle spins. I hope that you are having a wonderful Mother's Day. Whether you are a mom or a child of a mom, that includes all of us. So, here we are live on Mother's Day afternoon, about 4.30ish, and just wanted to take a few moments to wish Happy Mother's Day to those of you who might be watching now or might tune in later to uh, check this little broadcast out. And um, so I have a few thoughts I wanted to share about mothers in general, a couple of mothers in particular, and I want to start with the scriptures. Hey Phil, a lot of references, hey Teresa, happy Mother's Day, uh, a lot of references in the Proverbs, just for starters, to mothers, Proverbs 1, 8, do not forsake your mother's teaching. Proverbs 6 20, the same thing basically. Do not forsake the teaching of your mother. That lot to teach you. In fact, Proverbs 31 1. Everybody knows that Proverbs 31 chapter pretty well. But it says that these are the words of King Lemuel, the oracle which his mother taught him. So all the wisdom of Psalm 31 didn't really come from King Lemuel, it came from his mother. Proverbs 23, 22. Do not forget your mother when she is older. That would be sad. Proverbs 23, 25. Let your mother be glad and let her rejoice who gave birth to you. So some of you have had a chance to get to know a little bit about my mother because she joins me on these little broadcasts on Wednesday afternoon. And you know that she lived through depression. She was a plane spotter in the Second World War. She was a nurse. She had five children. Hey, Kathy. And um, she was not a ring card girl. She was. That was a cool joke. But it's my mom's personality that really stands out. So many people have said things over the years like, um, you're a very lucky man. Joe Domenico told me that once when he was doing concrete work at my parents' house. And my mother came out and gave him a glass of lemonade. And Joe called me up on the phone and said, you are a lucky man. Why are you calling me? She said, your mother is so sweet. Said, well, she's right. She's sweet and I'm lucky. I've had people say, your mom is the best. Your mom is your mom. Your mom is beautiful inside and out. I've had people say, I wish your mom was my mom. And I don't blame you. I'm just a wonderful person. Hey, Alicia. And so, that's my one blessing. And my second blessing is that the mother of my children, my wife, Laurie, is a tremendous mom as well. It's been a great blessing watching her over the years and even to this day showing such great um, mothering skills towards our daughters and helping them to become the young ladies that they have been. Hey, Regina. So I just want to sing this one simple little song. It's a classic. It's an oldie. Um, and it's been around 
for a while, but for all you mothers out there, bless you today. Here's a little song for you. M is for the million things she gave me. O means only that she's growing old. C is for the tears she said to save me. And H is for a heart of purest gold. D is for her eyes with love light shining. R means right, right she'll always be. Put them all together, they spell mother. A word that means world to me. So a beautiful little song, I think it was Eddie Arnold who did that song originally. All the different attributes of what makes a mother so special. And that's my little blurb for today. I am blessed because I have a lovely mother. I am blessed because the mother of my children, my wife, is such a blessing to them and to me. I'm blessed to know so many of you who are allowed on here today, ladies, who are great mothers as well. And I wish you all a happy Mother's Day. And thank you for popping by this afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your Mother's Day. And I'll be back on tomorrow to start the new week at 4.30 tomorrow with a new song. Talk a little bit more about that tomorrow. I mean, a brand new song. So hope to see you then.